Hi, you guys. Let's talk about the kind of speaking notes that you might decide to use for your speeches. You have all kinds of options. You might decide to use speaking notes in paper form. You might decide to do note cards. Some speakers like to use like an iPad or their phone or a computer screen. I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of all of these choices. Ultimately, you're going to decide what kind of speaking notes you want to use. Um, some speakers like to outline their speech. So write out the introduction word for word. Always a good idea to write out the introduction word for word. When you first begin your speech, that's when you're most nervous. And when you get nervous, sometimes your head just forgets everything it was going to say. So having that safety net underneath with that introduction written out word for word is really helpful. And then this speaker has just an outline. The speaker has rehearsed and is going to speak just from these notes. That's an option you might want to do, just go from notes. Other speakers, though, they like to do a full script. So we've got the introduction here, and then body paragraphs are completely written out in full script form. You can choose to go that way, too, full script or outline. When I speak, I like to write my introduction word for word. I outline my body. And then as I'm rehearsing, I do add in notes, especially if I'm stumbling with a transition or there's just one part, one paragraph that I just stumble over. Then on my outline, I will add some notes to help me get through those parts because I don't want to stumble. So you can choose full script or an outline. Whatever you're comfortable with, whatever is working in your rehearsals is what you should do. The second thing that you need to think about with your speaking notes is your form. Whether you do full script or outline, you're going to want to have something in your hands to help you out. You don't want to get in front of the room with nothing. So you might choose to use a full piece of paper for that full script or that outline. Um, the thing with a full piece of paper, well, it's, it's handy because everything fits on one page and so you're not shuffling too many pages. Like, for example, this outline has the introduction and then the body all outlined and then a second page with that conclusion written out. Good idea to write out your conclusion too, um, just so you don't forget what's on that conclusion, how you were going to wrap it up. You don't want to end up forgetting and then have a weak conclusion. The thing with a whole piece of paper that isn't great, you know, it's kind of handy because you've got everything here on one page. Um, sometimes, though, if you get nervous and you shake and then your paper is shaking and then you feel even more nervous because your paper is shaking. Uh, so that's one problem with a whole piece of paper. You also don't want to deliver your speech like this because, you know, then your audience members can't see you. So you have to be careful where you're holding that piece of paper because you have to have the eye contact. You need to connect with your audience. Um, so some things to think about as you're choosing, do I want to use a whole piece of paper? Some speakers like to put their notes on their phone. It's handy. It looks really techy and modern. Um, there are some drawbacks. It's small. It's, it's hard to see. If all of a sudden your screen goes blank or a different app opens or you get a notification, you might get some distraction going on, which might prevent you from speaking really clearly. Some speakers, though, really like to do like a Google presentation and each slide is one part of the speech and they just flip through those slides as they're speaking. So that's an option. I like using note cards. I still go to old school. I love technology and I thought about switching to phones. I even tried it and decided it just doesn't work. It has too much, uh, too much potential to fail me. My note cards won't fail me. So I write my introduction on my first note card and then I outline. So uh, for example, here's one of my body paragraph outlines. I've got my, my transition on the top one year later um, so that I know how I'm gonna start this paragraph and then I outline the main points that I'm having in this paragraph. I have my note cards numbered, so like this one is number 10, number, uh, number nine, I mean this one is number 10 so that I know the order. In case I do drop them, I can easily get them back in order. Um, my conclusion note card, I have my conclusion written out word for word for me. So I like using note cards. Um, I use a lot of note cards because I like a lot of notes. Um, I, I put transitions in here. Um, I use like red marks to, you know, if I want to emphasize something, I put that on my notes. Um, but I'm always careful to start on the top of my note card with my transition, you know, after failing my driver's test three times. So I have the first few words of each body paragraph ready to go. And then I outline the rest of it. Note cards. So you have two choices to make. The first choice is, do I want to do an outline or do I want to do a full script? If you do a full script, you cannot just read it to us, full script. You have to be conversational. 
but it sometimes does feel safe and comfortable to have that full script. So there's your first choice, full script or outline. Second choice, do I wanna do a whole piece of paper? Do I wanna do my phone? Or do I just wanna go the old fashioned safe route and just do note cards? Uh, some choices to make. If you need note cards, let me know. I've got a whole stash of note cards I can get to you. If you have questions, let's talk about it. If you're having a hard time deciding, let's talk it out. Thanks for watching. Excited to see your first speech.